Yo, what's up? I'm out of jail in time for crime time. What? The first message I read. This is going terribly. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. Oh, good to see you guys. Uh, thought we would go more into some true crime today. Thought we would watch another video from Red Tree Crime. I actually like their videos. If you don't remember, we watched the one. One of the ones we watched from them was um one where the guy said he like got he scratched up his hands from like wood pallets, but he killed his mom or whatever. I got the blues game on the side of the screen. I got RuneScape loading up, and I got some a crime video ready. Good day. True crime. I have a criminology degree. We're gonna be watching some true crime. I don't know what this is. We haven't seen it. I haven't watched it. We're gonna watch it together. This is from Red Tree Crime. It's called When a Dumb Criminal is Also a Terrible Liar. Sounds like a banger. All right, let's get into it. Sixty-eight year old Mary Kay Wolfarth went missing in Ohio. Oh no. Terrible Mary start. owned an antique shop in town. Oh, no, with and the she cute failed dog. to show up to open her shop. Friends and family began to worry. I hate this. I, I reported a friend missing five. earlier today, and I think we have, I need to call it to pay the work or this whatever for a missing person. And who's missing? Uh, Mary Kay Wolfarth. Okay, when was the last time you saw her? Uh, one o'clock yesterday. Saw her at an auction, mm -hmm. and then we were, we were supposed to meet again today at 3 o'clock. Oh, and okay. She didn't show up, oh, and okay. so I went to her house. And her mail and her and her newspaper were on the porch. Mm -hmm. Her neighbor said she hadn't come home last night, which is like totally out of character. Okay. Why would and she had her two cats that? here that I have to feed. So. Okay. Why would her After neighbor the missing know that? person's report had been filed, the report would appear on the local news. An employee of a self storage facility would watch the news, and he realized that he knew the missing woman. She had rented a unit to store inventory from her store, so he checked the security cameras over her unit. After reviewing the footage, he immediately called the police. My name is Craig Maddox. I work at Leslie Floor Sandy. Yeah. We have rental units behind our building. And uh, there is a lady that has been missing. Uh, I yeah, I guess neighborhood stuff. It's fair. Filed. Okay. Her Old name people is, talk to um, each other. <laughs> That's so true, dude. Like, my neighbors seem really nice, but, like, we met them, like, one night. I haven't spoken to them since. I haven't spoken to them one time. I sit in my house all day and I play video games or, like, watch videos or I act stupid. Also, like, the last thing I want is my neighbors figuring out that's what I do because, like, I don't trust anybody to, like, not be like, I live next to this guy. You know what I mean? Which would be a terrible thing, obviously. So, to be fair, though, I'd probably just say I work in, like, social media or some shit. Where old people just sit and stare out their window wistfully. Like, I, I remember when I could walk to. <laughs> Katie Wolforth. My reason for I calling is I remember when they are used to not disintegrate me. Her rental unit has been entered by another individual. We have an unsurveillance. Her, like grandchild case. opens the window okay. and she's like, and ah! To my knowledge, <laughs> that individual has no permission, reason, authority to go in there. Okay. My biggest problem is I don't know how to get it off this blasted security system. All right, so you want to meet with an officer regarding yes. someone entering her unit? Yes. What is happening? Okay, so that's her van? Yes, sir. Can we just start the video and just, yes. just watch it? Mind if I take a seat? Nope. Please. No, I actually do mind. All right. Look at you this way, then... <laughs> um. The footage begins with Mary unloading antiques into her storage unit, and then she leaves to go to the office. While she's gone, the owner of the orange truck walks into her storage unit and waits for her to return. When Mary enters her storage, the door is closed behind her. After several minutes, only the man exits the building. He then cleans up Mary's belongings and drives her vehicle away. When he returns, he goes back into her storage and comes out with two large trash cans, and he puts them into his own storage. Thanks to the surveillance footage, the police were able to identify the man as Michael Olson. They searched through Michael's storage unit, and they found the trash cans that held Mary's body. The police would immediately send messages out to other police departments 
telling them to be on the lookout for Michael. The search wouldn't last very that's, long. That's gross. Because Michael had already been arrested for unrelated charges. Yeah, what a fucking... It he got arrested already? He was already arrested. Right. Oh, he got his tits out. You're perfect on your face? What if I took... What's her name? Melissa Hubsey, yeah. It was, uh... Was this an Akron? Well, no, she lives in the falls. No, I mean, the, the, the charge, was it in Akron? Oh, it was in Farrell. No, it was... I, that's, I mean, I can't imagine this guy is that smart. He, he, this is what... He was smart enough to, to... Well, he wasn't smart enough to commit a crime. So he committed a crime. Stupid. But then he, for some reason, did it with a camera on the... At the entrance. And then... Didn't have anything to cover himself when he walked in, but then had something on when he walked out. Like a Scooby-Doo ass ghost, yeah. So he knew there was a camera, but like thought maybe by covering himself going out, he would be, I don't, whatever. It wouldn't be us though. We don't control what they do. One day we might. Well, she can cover fucking Well, that's not how that is. Hey, watch your head going in there. Everybody, something else. You complaining about a girl? All right, we're going straight there. Okay, like we're stopping nowhere. Oh, this is probably his straight. arrest Don't before be that. I'm assuming them. Oh, it's so loud. The detectives would put Michael into an interrogation room, but they wouldn't tell him what it was for. <gasps> they wanted him to believe that he was going to be questioned the police about the breaking and entering charges too? he had been arrested for. Yeah, put this on. This is just can you please put a shirt on him? I'm begging you. Uh, Mike. Okay, we'll call you Mike. Hi. And uh, however we stand on that smoke would be great. Yeah, I'll let you go up here. Hi. Can't believe we're watching the Andrew Tate interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say how funny it is that he got arrested because he was beefing with Greta Thunderberg on Twitter? And the main reason because of it was because he had a pizza box in the video, the produced video he made thinking he was like clapping back at her. Why did I say Thunderberg? <laughs> That's not the right name. <laughs> I meant Thunberg. I don't know why I decided to say Thunderberg, but I did. Anyway, I think it's really funny that he got clocked by the Romanian police because he had a Romanian pizza shop's box in some video he made to yell at a teenager for saying that he's a being a bad person. What is he doing? I looked away for one second. I looked away for one second and that man was going crazy on him. Now he's talking to himself. Oh my God, don't, don't, don't. What is happening? Shit, now I have piss. Fuck. <laughs> Luke! What is happening? I got to take a leak in the worst way. In the worst way? Don't do that. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> Thanks for the commentary. Why is this man commentating hey. his troubles? What's, I gotta take a week. What's the status? Nobody's watching, bro. After about 30 minutes, the detective enters the room. Damn, he held it in for so long. <laughs> Mr. Detective, man, I've got a pee pee. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, Please help, I almost wee weed my pants. <laughs> this is not sweltering out like the back of a cruiser. Yeah. 
Well, it wasn't too bad in there, but it was it's, it's nicer in here for sure. Yeah. So you need another detector for this stupid thing? Well, this is kind of how we do it. Yeah. Uh, if you watch TV or whatever. It's not always like how it is on TV. No, I know that. I know that. I'm sure. In fact, it's rarely like how it is on TV because uh, they make police good good people on TV. Who said that? Okay, we go by Mike, Michael, Mike, Mike. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Mike, Michael, Mike, Mike, Michael, Mike, 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 Mike. You uh, met Detective Brian uh, Free. Yeah. Okay. Uh, since you're in cuffs, I, so I got to read you these. All right. These are your oh, Miranda Reds. Yeah. yeah. Then I just need some verbal acknowledgement, yes or no, if you understand. Yeah. After reading him his rights, the detective begins to question Michael about his breaking and entering charges. They don't want to scare him into asking for a lawyer, I like so they approach voice. the situation like it's not really a big deal, approach the situation. and it's all standard procedure. Yeah, very I mean, smart. I know you explained. Very, uh, very smart. This will happen most times. I mean, you guys have seen it plenty, but just to reiterate, it'll. This will happen a lot if, uh, especially. They're extremely convinced that this is the, the suspect, mainly because they don't want them to lawyer up. The police, the entire interrogation is so is meant to make them talk and make them not call a lawyer. So they want to make the environment as friendly and as deceptively welcoming as possible as to not, you know, give away anything. In a little bit. I'm um, seeing there uh, what kind of had happened. OK, of course. Um, so. You know, I just want to kind of, I like to do things formal, and that's why we're down here doing this right now. Um, tell me kind of how this whole thing transpired today. Uh, I went and picked up some mulch. Uh, Bob and Ro uh, Rose always yells at me through a window, and hey, hey Mike, and, you know, my dad was leaving. Why did literally nobody think to give this man a shirt? Like, why did nobody think to give this man a shirt? He's got no shoes on as well. Yeah, what the fuck? Where, where did they arrest him? Where did he get caught? Like, what is happening? In his house? Who the fuck sits in their house with no shirt on? Which, that's f a bit fair. I understand that. But with just socks and khaki pants? The khaki cargo shorts. Khaki cargo shorts? Like, what is happening? This one, he might do it. Uh <gasps> the blue scored. Oh! I'm watching the goal, hold on. Oh my God. That was such a good goal. Let's go. Can we see it? Definitely not. I don't want the NHL to come after me. Yeah, not to mention his pants are falling down. So not only did they not give him a shirt, he doesn't have shoes. So he's in socks and his sh his shorts are just falling. I guess the police have no reason to do it. And also they're not just going to have spare clothes laying around. And I get this man is definitely a murderer and they're aware of that. But like, I don't know why they'd want to like, this is a, not a great situation to be staring at. This man's like one leg movement from his whole pants falling off. So whatever. Uh, I could use your coffee pot. So I used, what are you using my coffee pot? I was hanging out today. My dad was out working and I was kind of doing my own thing. And uh, she said, you know, could you, when we were sitting here having a cigarette, Bob was there, you know, and I was like, uh, she said, can you open that door for me? There's a closet door that always sticks, you know, that I've used it. There's no lock on it, whatever. I thought she meant that. She didn't know the bedroom door. And I went over and I was like, oh, well, Rose is locked from the inside. Guys, his boobs are or, moving you know, when so he does like, stuff with you know, his... I think you guys always keep that window open. Why don't I just go around there and... Yeah, could you? I don't think you'll fit. And I was like, oh, come on, Rose. I lost weight. Shoot, I can get in there. Yeah, and so that's what I did. I helped her get her window open, or her door open. Went around there. And it made it look like I tried to, I went to jump in, that's probably what the neighbors saw me doing. I tried to jump in first and I was like, well, I need a chair. I went over and I opened our freaking bedroom door. It was locked because Antoinette just was living there. Vince Lavari, the uh, landlord, he was like, I, to, I guess he tried to get him to get out of there. Sorry, I'm sorry, acting like I'm all nervous and talking and shit, but I was just helping him out getting their freaking bedroom door open so they could check yeah. all the shit out of there. They asked me to help them get Why would all you be the nervous? out of the basement and out of the, out of the bedroom. What was you supposed to get out of the basement? Uh, all the answer that's clothes, all the freaking uh, the bed that was down there is cluttering up everything. They tried to have six people living in that little place. That's a the hazard. You can't do that. Okay. And my dad lives right next door. He's like, he can't do it. He hates that. Okay. So, so just so I understand it, you were they yelled out the window to you. 
in the morning. That was at like eight thirty oh, this okay. morning. Yeah. Then I was I was there. I don't. What neighbor called? Because I mean, didn't the neighbor see me doing mulch? I, I don't know which neighbor it was. It yeah. doesn't even matter. But dude, I was doing mulch for him. I was, and that wasn't like I was charging him for everything. I went and got him a pack of cigarettes. Can you go get cigarettes, Mike, for us? Of course I did. Yeah. Okay. I've been I've been staying there since February of eighteen with my dad after I moved out of my that way at the TPO with my ex girlfriend. <laughs> and now I got now I'm freaking getting in trouble for helping. So you were me. living in that house the where your dad lives too? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Isn't, okay. that, isn't that where my address is? That's on my license. To be honest with you, I didn't pull yeah. it up. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah. <laughs> to be, uh, but I wasn't to be honest, I don't give a shit. Else or... No, it was not. This is so stupid. Okay. And then, and then we, when we came in, we arrived and you were in the basement at that time. Yeah, I was getting up to the internet stuff out of the basement. And, I, and all of a sudden I heard, is there anybody here? And I was like, fuck is that? And I was like, oh shit. And then I came out. <laughs> I wasn't ducking down like the one officer said. I was freaking trying to get some stuff clean for him. And why Why wouldn't they lie to me? Why, why would they say that I was trying to steal stuff? God, I've lived there for... I, I, I don't know if they actually said you were trying to steal something. Well, what am I um, doing here? But, well, because they said that you, they didn't know that you were in a house. Oh my god. Did you see how intoxicated she was? They drink all day, every day. They drink a liter of Kamchaka down there every day. That's why Bob has the the he has a blood alcohol monitor on his ankle. I thought it was house arrest at first, and I said, "Oh my gosh, what are you doing?" They didn't recognize me when I came back because I've uh, been staying with my mom a little bit here and there. Me and my dad butt heads. I'm not living there full on with my dad, but I will go down every once in a while do some laundry. You know, this man is just going. Mother. My mother's a bear, but uh. Bob didn't even recognize me. When today or yes, uh, yesterday? No. Yesterday. Okay. Yeah, Bob didn't recognize me. He thought I was Josh. Yes, exactly. Please love if this. You get this my phone, talking. I can show you all the videos that yeah, I have of Bob and Rose and how. Michael acts extremely nervous for yeah. what appears to be a mistake. Sure. According to Michael, he used to live at the home he was accused of breaking into. The only reason the police were called was because the owner had mistaken him for someone else. The police are about to drop a small hint that Michael is being questioned for something bigger. <laughs> they ask him why he shaved his head recently, and Michael already has his answer ready to go. When did you get your... Uh, like, like, probably three or four days ago. I was just being goofy and just shaving around. My cousin's coming in from town. He's a Marine. I want to do something funny for him, and heck, I've never shaved my head before. <laughs> I mean, a couple times, but not like shaving. I was just feeling a little mischievous. I was just a little, you know, I was feeling a little quirky, a little goofy, a little mischievous. So get this, I shaved my whole fucking head. <laughs> what? <laughs> shaved it, shaved it. Right, it feels kind of good. I kind of like it. A little cooler in the summer, right? Yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, and literally, I think, so I went to a, I played where I was baseball. You know how it is, mine, guys. Uh, back, I think I. You ever act silly and shave your whole head? I was 27 until about 30, anyway. The All the time, the day, come on, guys. Job, come on, come on. Hat. So I was going like this. Was in my Who video. hasn't like, done that? I'm getting rid of it. So today I mean, I have. I have. Look at the sneak egg emote. It wasn't me that was feeling mischievous, though, unfortunately. Today you were mulching uh, yeah. throughout the thing there? Okay. Yeah. And then, um, is that pretty much all you were doing today? Yes. Around the house? Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, did you ever leave? Well, yeah, of course I left to go get the mulch, and then I went up... Uh, where else did I go? I went to get them pack of cigarettes, went to the liquor store. <laughs> got them to drink. I was going to go golf. I had a golf league tonight. Okay. Oh, I got it. Get out of there. Ew. Stop. And then uh, you went to the liquor store for them? No, for me. For oh, myself. Yeah, for okay. myself. Bob's not, I guess Bob's not allowed to drink anymore. He's got did he ever pee? Nothing. Okay. Because I saw him leave the house, but, you know, if it was an ankle bracelet, it would have gone off. It's a blood alcohol content monitor, I imagine. Okay. So. Just yeah, it's just a crazy trailer. Just a crazy misunderstanding, guys. <laughs> in the back, I... No, uh, my dad. Okay, so I did go to another place today. My dad uh, called me up. And he said he needed a decision. <laughs> um, and I was down there mulching. It's an orange pass load. You know, we got tools right inside the place there. So I had to drive out the bath, give him that, and I came back. Okay. Yeah, it was. Um, What's the name of the address? I don't know the actual number. Seven something, but it's on Camry Road. Up is the cop on the left okay? okay. No, he's got a haircut so from the early 2000s no, and, and going bald show. doing it. So. Yeah, we're doing a cement party sighting. I'm sure he's there. devastated. Okay, okay. And then, all right. Um, 
Well, uh, they're out there talking to them still, I'm trying to get a statement, so hopefully we can well, get here. No, no, they're not here. They're, I have oh, down here. there? Yeah, oh. out there. I yeah, cannot sure. freaking believe that they would be. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, they're saying, obviously, you know. I would not, I, I'm, and the one thing I hate in this world is a thief. I'm not, I'm not a thief. I was helping them out. I'm not a thief. I've always done I'm well, not I, a I thief. Around, when I was living there, I'm just a murderer. Right I come around. I, the, the I don't do that thieving I shit. Run Bob over, he'd be face down on the freaking gravel from being too drunk, and I'd pick him up and take him back inside. Okay. All right. Well, let me get things worked out. We'll take a little break for a second, and uh, and um, I'll talk to them real quick and see what they want to do. And then what about? Is there any way I get us? Okay. He just peace signed. Right. Them real quick and see what they want to do. And then what about? Is there any way I get us? No, okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. I get it. I don't do that. No, I'll be right back. He hit him with the peace sign, bro. Yeah, these guys are tight. <laughs> The detective leaves the room and lets Michael complain about the handcuffs for a few minutes. When he returns, he brings the sergeant with him. When Michael sees the sergeant, he looks like he's just seen a ghost. He realizes that this is about much more than just a misunderstanding. I can't fucking believe it. They said that they, said that they didn't know it was in the house. What a crock of shit. What is he it's doing, man? What is he doing? All right, Mike. Oh. Oh. Hey, you this all right? Oh, yeah. oh. This is uh, oh, Sergeant Dan, Dan Marks. Yeah, oh. so Why is everybody in this police department bald or going bald? All this over a suspected being in this is retarded. What's going on, man? This is the third mostly bald cop. Today, uh, you talked to, you told uh, Detective Brady that uh, you were mulching uh, out there at the Coventry? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we went up to Atkins, find a small store, get the mulch from. Who said that? Copper Road. Okay. Um, did you, uh, well, we, know, we met your dad today, and uh, he was saying that. Uh, you met my dad? Yeah. Yeah, did you talk to your dad on the phone today at all? Uh, yeah, a couple times. Yeah. And, uh, what'd you, you have to You ran, you, did you run out of gas? Yeah, I ran out of gas. I've been running out of gas a lot lately. I've been a little bit broke. <laughs> yeah. Talk to your dad, no reason. Uh, like he asked, what would you guys talk about you and your dad? Uh, like he said, he called me up earlier to go get a, I had to bring up the past little finish gun, and, uh, then that was about it. So. Did he say that, uh, we wanted to talk to you? We. The Akron Place? No, not at all. No, don't tell me that the dad's complacent. Text you, called you on the phone. <laughs> I mean, I got a couple calls, but I, mean, I didn't. Uh, that was after I went out and dropped the tool off. I didn't talk to him. I was busy doing the mulching down there. Come, that's where he lived. So it was kind of a Father's Day present for him a little bit. So. Ah. Michael's father was the actual owner of the storage unit where Mary's body had been found. That's fucked up. The police had spoken with him earlier that day when they were trying to find Michael. He would help the police find his son by showing them text messages between them. In these messages, he explains to Michael that the police are looking for him and that he should turn himself in. Because you were supposed to meet him, right? Uh, no. It is so amazing to me. It is so amazing, like the technological illiteracy of now. Is that literally text him and goes, the police are looking for you. And they know that like, he responded, they have the text exchanges. They're literally saying that they have the text exchanges. And for some reason, he's like, no, no, that never happened. No, no, no. I golf league tonight. That's what I was actually getting ready to like do. Like what? You weren't supposed to meet your dad? No. Up at the storage unit? No. What's it? That's 
what he told us. Oh, no. That's why he was calling you? No. Did he, uh, did he meet up with you? Uh, That's amazing, after dude. After he ran out of gas? Yeah, he came and actually got me some gas. The, the yeah. idea, like, but, uh, I, I can't believe, sorry, I keep pausing. I can't believe that people just think that anything that they do, like, message-wise, internet-wise, conversation-wise, anything. It's amazing to me that people are just like, nah, they can't. They don't. They don't know that. There's definitely a, no way they'll find out. There's no way. Like, how could they not? How could they not find out, bro? I mean, I didn't, he didn't say anything about it. Did he get you gas? Uh, well, actually, just- They cooperated and, uh, with your dad. They've like, admitted to cooperating with, you know, with your dad. Here on the market, you know, to get some gas, and uh, he's, then he left. So. Your dad did? Yeah. Oh, and no, that he, never he, happened. He Shit, that'd be, I don't know. They just, he just said that they were talking to him. 12, one, somewhere around there. I don't know. Sure, was not more like uh, one or two? One or two. Well, like I said, 11, 12, one, two, yeah, I don't know what the concept of time really is. I had so much going on lately. Oh yeah, my life's yeah, really yeah, fucking hard, killing people and shit. Just working Fuck. with my mom, my mom and stepdad on a couple of yogurt shops, trying to work for dad. Trying it's to been tough out here getting, getting away with murder, very much lately. getting caught immediately. But, you know, we've worked together, lived together for a while. Like a boss. Um, so your your storage unit up there, uh, up on North Hill. Yeah. Um, well, it's not your dad. It's my dad's. Yeah, ain't mine. Who has access to it? Uh, me and my dad. Yeah, and then there's, uh, <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, you know, I don't know if you know about theft that was up there. Not that long ago. Uh, this guy used to get into all the units, stole all types of shit, silver tin. Yeah, my dad. Stuff, if you know that name? But no. uh, my but dad has access. My dad has access. had the keys for it. Just but, me and my dad. Uh, yeah, so that's. Okay. When was the last time you were there? Uh, I was up there either yes, this morning or yesterday morning. I can't remember which actually day it was. My dad gave me the storage unit. No, I was, just, uh, was getting ready to, um, the lady To be fair, cops lied during interrogations all the time. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. But they literally told him, they brought up his dad texting him. They brought it up. They're not lying. They're literally saying that they know his dad reached out. My whole point is that they just said that and then he just denied it like it didn't happen. Next door in the brick house, she gave me, uh, she had, she had okay. me help her move out this big stereo thing. I was gonna spray paint it and sell it on uh, what do you call it, Facebook sell or whatever, and so. Now, are you aware that uh, the, that storage area, they've got all kinds of cameras? Oh, yeah, yeah, because of the theft. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, your dad said sometimes you sleep down there? Uh, only the, only, the only reason I slept in there is because I'm so tired from doing it. Like, if this represents the floor of so the- So tired from hiding a body? You couldn't even walk in it as of a couple weeks ago so i was cleaning it out for him trying to get it functional again but yeah i crashed up there one night just because i fell asleep and i was like oh. i was so tired and sometimes i go stay next door with beverly and she uh lets me go in there uh the uh there's a brick house right next door to the shop and um that's the guy actually his mother who who was stealing from all the storage oh. units yeah but she she evicted him he hasn't been around in a while so I got it. I haven't seen that guy in a while. Okay. So we actually, uh, like we said, we met your dad. We met your dad at the at, up there at the storage unit, and uh, I, we both were standing next to him when he was trying to call you, uh, and uh, he said uh, that that uh, you had gotten a ride by from somebody. Yeah, I think that's what amazes me the most. The storage unit. That's what my dad said. Yeah. It amazes me that he, it amazes me that this is his dad's storage units. Yeah, whatever. He's digging at his dick again. Not shocking the third time. Regardless of all that, his dad owns the storage unit that he did this in. So he not only knows the guy who has the footage, he knows where all the cameras are. And once again, knew there was a camera because he walked out of the storage unit with like a blanket on, but he didn't walk in with one on. Like he just didn't even try to conceal himself. I don't know. I don't understand. Whatever. Uh, My computer go. beeped. Sorry. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. I'm once again baffled by the machinations of a criminal's brain. Michael's body language shows us multiple signs of lying. He is constantly itching, playing with parts of his body, and rocking back and forth. 
When someone is nervous, their nervous system can cause them to feel itches or tingles all over their body. This will make it very difficult for them to sit still. Well, like I said, well, like I said we, uh, we, were, we were up there, we talked to your dad, and you said that you were on the way, you ran out of gas, the truck was down there at Carroll and Book, or East Market. Yeah, Coast. right, and I was going to get a he did, get he, a did, he does have to pee. To the gas station to get some gas, but I never said I was going to go to the storage unit. Yeah, he said, that's what he said. And that's he, what he said? And he actually texted you. Oh, I, haven't, I haven't seen my phone in a while, so I've obviously been dealing with this, so. Well, this has been like three or four. Well, yeah, but still, it just feels like is, is his dick itching a microaggression as well? A window to help out a neighbor. Is he itching his dick because he's nervous, or? Well, so when, when was the last time student. you were up at the storage unit? Well, like I said, uh, yesterday, this morning, yesterday morning, can't remember what day it was. Hmm. Were you up there Monday? What's today? Today is Wednesday. Uh, Monday. Two days ago. I've been up there sporadically throughout the last week. I don't know exactly which day, but. Uh, was it Wednesday? I felt it. No, I don't think I was up there Monday. No, was it? Okay. Uh, Were you with anybody when you were up there? No. No, I mean, I just pretty much rolled up right solo. I mean, Dick, come, you know, Richard Leslie, the guy that owns the place, comes back every once in a while to hang out. Yeah, uh, yeah Dick. Do you, uh, do you ever see anybody else that has storage units up there or talk to anybody? Oh, well, there's a couple old, uh, old timers to my right. And these dads are, the, uh, these dads that, or his son is Black Keys, uh, you know, the, the, the group, yeah. And then uh, sometimes I see the people across from us, they're porters, they got all types of, sh oh my gosh, it's to the brink, I thought our shop was bad. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then Jake Leslie and I, you know. When's the last time you saw them? Uh, I don't know, three, four days ago, something like that, five days. I, I literally, my days have been running together so much as I've been freaking going crazy. Is she looking like? Oh uh, yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's Dave and Kat Kathleen? Kathleen? Katie? Katie? That's the same name, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Who is she? Uh she has a she has a storage unit up there, I think, with her I thought it was her husband Dave or something okay. like that. I met him before. Classic Dave. Uh I don't know, I don't know which what the letter is. I have no idea. It's, it's next to you, across from you. Oh, uh across from me, I'm the in the middle building. Okay. Yeah. When was the last time you saw her? Uh, I'd say probably Saturday, Sunday, something like that. I was up there doing some stuff around the shop. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. It's very interesting watching Michael fall apart <clears throat> from anxiety and fear of being caught. Michael has already shown us that he's not the world's smartest criminal. He oh, claims really? that he was aware of the cameras at the storage facility, yet in broad daylight, he takes the life of an old woman just because he felt like doing it. Oh. Now we see him trying to lie his way out of the situation he is in. But because he is so nervous, he can't keep his story straight. What about Monday? Yeah. Uh, I, I can't imagine why. I mean, it's such a thought out crime from know. him. I don't think it was up there Monday. I think it was, I know I was there over the weekend. And he really put his head on into this one. Yeah. That's, that's crazy to me. I can't, I'm, I can't believe it. No. Did you talk to her at all? No. Oh, yeah, well, she, she actually tried to knock on, on my door one night. She said I was sleeping up there. I fell asleep or something. She gave me a fan if I was hot or something. So I had talked to her before, yeah. No, I thought somebody told us you guys were, you were dating her. No. Dude, dude, no. Look at her. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I mean, God doesn't make junk, but no, I wasn't dating her. Are you kidding me? A little bit all your age, Branch. Why yes, did he look at yes, the camera? And, I, and trust me, after my last relationship, I'm not even looking for any type of girl. I've never had any sexual relations with her. No, absolutely not. Oh my gosh, why am I even being asked this? Well, somebody said that you guys were dating. Man. No, we're not dating. Oh my okay. gosh. Who said that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing for Michael that he has sworn off women <laughs> since his last relationship. That should help him make the rest of his life in prison that much easier. No, I'm not doing this. <laughs> well, Mike, the video shows that you were talking to her Monday. So, well, yeah, okay, I told you my days were all kind of like. And both of your storage units were open. You guys, you were going in and out. Yeah. <laughs> both units. Were you I thought that was God. Her unit? Was I was I in her unit? Uh, no, it was right outside the door. I mean, I might have ventured in there to look at a couple stuff when she was right there. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, you didn't enter the unit? Not, not before that, no. Okay, but you 
Monday, did that go in there? Oh, or just a Tony, I mean, I really don't know. I was standing there, I was talking to her, she cleaned out my, uh, uh, what do you call it, shop bag, and I just, I just am bad uh-huh. on the timeline of the dates. I really don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I never was actually yeah. like, I mean, maybe right outside the door, but all the way in the back. No, I've never been there. You can't even, yeah, I mean, yeah, we, you, you know, stuff. you know. I guess she hasn't been in your, your unit. Uh, just, uh, she brought me, she dusted off the shop back and, you know, I, I wanted her to see because everyone that drove by I saw how disgusting it was. I was like, hey, look, look. Love better. I'm actually doing a lot better, yeah. Okay. So, would her DNA uh, be Wow, he's, he's so clever. No, not at all. Not at all? No. Why would her DNA? Well, yeah. the reason I think we're asking about her is because the family made a report. They haven't seen her in a couple of days. What? So we're trying to, trying yeah. to find her. DNA? Why? No, she was. If anything, she stepped right inside my unit and gave me the. And she blew off the, the filter for my shop back that I was using. This is ridiculous. Okay. So on Monday, her sister got a phone call, or actually a message left on her machine, mm-hmm. saying Katie was telling her she has this handyman named. Jim oh yeah, yeah. Her sister in Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna do a little road to work trip for her, but yeah. Okay. Remember having that conversation? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Monday? Oh, I don't know if it was. Mo- I mean, like I said, it could have been Monday. What? Just Wednesday. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go like I'll say, hey, uh, yeah, but it's been about seven minutes or so, and that was. The and dancing like around like ago, crazy. Like a week ago, or that's uh, my timeline gets fucked up every once in a while. And people are like, dude. Oh, yeah. You're an idiot. Oh, yes. The detective stops the conversation to ask Michael a question. He wants to know if Michael uses any drugs. If he does, depending on what kind, it could be why Michael is acting the way he is. I, mean, I, I think he's kind of just an idiot. You, uh, you, you hooked on anything? What, what got using? I hooked up. I smoke weed every once in a while, but it gives me, it gives me a little bit of upper energy. Something else. Really just admitted to that, huh? So you so you saw her Monday. I guess it depends on Saturday. when and oh, last where. Yeah, last couple of days, yeah. Yeah. Because she she's been missing for a couple of days, so we've been trying to find her. Uh do you have any idea where she might be? Did she talk about where she was going? No idea. She did not say where she was going. No. No. Okay. Again, there's video and one, it was this was Monday. It shows you moving her van. No. Yeah. No. No, I wasn't moving her van. Yeah. I mean. You sure? That could have been anybody in my happen. dad's storage unit by my storage unit. Can you explain that? No, I can't. Uh, you, moving you know. I mean, you moving the video. You moving the van. Yeah, I guess. All right. You drove out. If drinking from an empty water bottle is not a sign of anxiety, then I don't know what is. When a person is suffering from this level of anxiety, it do can cause them to sweat more than usual. This in turn will make- Based on my studies, would they count prescriptions as a drug in cases? Or is that a dependency on if it's prescribed soon or bought? Well, yeah, it would be dependent on the prescription because also like prescribed drugs can be used. You know how people use like Adderall and Ritalin when they're not diagnosed to use it. Or prescribed to use it, etc., and, and and plenty of opioids that are like actual. I mean, people get addicted to morphine and and plenty of other stuff that are like prescribed or legal drugs. Obviously, marijuana is way more you know loose now, so I don't know when this was done, but they might have just glossed over it because it might be at a point in time where you know it's he might be in a state where it's fine, etc. It's usually fine if it's a prescribed thing. It depends on the, like, if they suspect a, a dependency in, in an unhealthy way, et cetera. It's, it's very dependent. Most of the time, it's, if it's prescribed, doesn't really matter. But, yeah. Make the person very thirsty, as they'll want to replace the water in their body that they have lost. Do you know why we found any blood in her unit? Pardon me? Why we found blood in her unit? You found blood in her unit? Yeah. Do you have any cuts from when you were... I've got cuts all the time from working construction, man. <laughs> all the time. Okay. Yeah. Is that is blood going to be yours? Or? Oh, yeah. This, oh, this is... Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a picker, so sometimes I'll get in there, I'll scratch my nose. But again, the blood that we found in her unit. 
Oh, is he my blood? No, no. No, I, how would that be my blood? I didn't cut myself over there. So, no. But I do, I mean, if I could have shed something, I mean, because I, mean, I always do have, like, I mean, look, I've got I've got tons of cuts all over here. I always work in construction, dude. That's what I do. Michael, uh, I mean, we've been working on this for a couple hours. Um, I mean, we got pretty far along in the investigation. There's going to be a time when there's going to be a, a narrative given of what happened. Okay. So, usually, I, I tell people that, you know, I mean, you want to be in control of the narrative. You don't want me to give the narrative myself. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, find, we find evidence, uh, you know, different things. I love that he's explaining blood, why he's arrested. Uh, different objects. Kind of funny. you know, we can kind of piece together what happened. So, I mean, sometimes, sometimes people fuck up, and, you know, they do something, they get themselves in a predicament, they get worried, uh, I mean, something happened on accident, they get scared, uh, they try to cover <laughs> just, it up. He's explaining why he's to, got arrested. It's... You know, try to explain it, well, uh, now's the time to explain what happened that day. Uh, was it Monday? You know, it must have been a guy that looked just no. like me right no. by my storage no. unit. Well, we found blood in your unit. No. Censored? Oh, it's photos. And I thought he was about to do something. They're showing some photos. You want to explain that? I mean, I put myself on some glass and... What about here? Mm. What, what's left? Well, it's like, Wait, hold on. Well, we found blood in your unit. No, in his unit. So there's just blood in his storage unit. What part of this does he think he's going to get away with? I'm so confused. I'm so baffled. Whatever, man. I don't even know what to say. This guy's a fucking moron. You didn't think to get rid of that? And then he said it's his blood. You think they're just not going to check? I don't understand. You don't think he's going to check that blood? You don't think they're going to check that blood? Of course they're going to check. Bruh. And here. Do you want to explain that? I mean, I got myself on some glass and... What about hair? What's like, how long have you been keeping your hair like that? Uh, so literally, like two, three days. <laughs> okay. Literally, like two, three days. Well, you said, uh, I think you said it was about three or four days ago, earlier. Well, three or four days, two, three days. I, like I said, I don't know how my timeline does, man. It sucks. We found lots of blood in your storage unit. Lots of blood. We Stop. Yo! Sticks, instruments with a lot of blood. No fucking way. Like Sergeant Mark said. Yeah, someone's got a frame or something. Yep. You just said that the only two people. Guys, fun fact um, that never happens. They get, have access to your unit. But somebody, like, if you ever look up in the saw pit, that fucking Tim, he's trying. I bet you he's trying. No. I, I don't think that's the one that they're... We have video of you talking to Katie. Well, yeah, I've talked to Katie before. Talking to her on Monday, driving her van away. Her keys... So Classic her keys Tim. Tim is so goofy. Goofy ah moment from Tim. Classic Tim setting him up for murder. Tim fucking... He's a fucking... What a prankster. What a, what a silly guy. Tim was feeling mischievous on a Monday. Something bad happened to Katie. You know it. You know what happened. So like Sergeant Martin they found the fucking keys in his unit as well, apparently. To give us your narrative. I can't believe the police figured this one out. Yeah. So stupid. This fucking life. What happened? Oh, man. Did she want to give you some money? She want to give you a job? What? Michael remains quiet, most likely thinking about how he can get out of the situation he is in. He can't. He doesn't realize that just by sitting there saying nothing, he is making himself appear far more guilty. No. After contemplating his options, Michael finally comes clean about what happened. Not necessarily. I would disagree with that because, like, the smartest thing to do if you're in this situation is to stay quiet. You know, for reasons I've told you guys many times, uh, literally, it gives the police nothing to work with. 
which is in your favor because if you're ever prosecuted by the police, they will just use everything you say against you. So, got to disagree with that point, but... We have uh, yeah. the sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tell us what happened, Michael. I mean, it's probably going to help you. I mean, you, you can't you can't feel good holding this in. No, not really. No, no, no. I just tell us what happened. I snapped, man. I snapped. I just about something, something came over me. I don't know. What what yeah. makes you? My ex girlfriend, dude. She it was a downfall. It's not. Like it's not she doesn't want to hold a gun to me either by an extra time, but she made me a different person because of her toxic narcissistic race. Yep, her fault. I was mentally, verbally, emotionally abused. Yep, her I fault. Know, just I snapped and Katie said something about my fucking ex girlfriend. I don't know. Yep, her fault. You know what? Well, yeah, yeah, I snapped. She was really oh, mean, and so I killed somebody. Am I free to go? I think you're just getting me to want to say it. That's why I told you, this is your narrative. This is your chance to say for your story. Yeah, well, I just... Are you just a cold-blooded, no, I homicidal maniac? Not, a, not at all. Or was it I just, heat of the moment? Yeah. Heat of the moment, I can think. I snapped. So uh, take us through it, man. Nah, I just went over there, hit her on the head. That was it. What'd you hit her on the head? Yes, yeah, something I can't so Like a metal pipe, a walking mm -hmm. stick? Something in there. Wood. Yeah, it was actually a uh, uh, piece of the, I don't even see that yet. A piece of the fireplace stick looking one of those broken. I don't know what I just I just saw it, I grabbed it, and I just like fucking snapped it. Did you get her her yet or yeah. piece of shit? Don't and then I just I don't know, I just Try to get rid of the evidence, but let's see what I can do. I think mm -hmm. about those fucking cameras. Where's the van? <sighs> Commits a crime in his dad's storage unit. unit. How the keys end up down the, to your dad's? I, I of the person directly there, next to his storage it unit. Was it was dumb. I shouldn't have never done it. Obviously, I've been in jail for the rest of my life, but it's a snap, man. I've been so emotionally and verbally abused. You have no idea. I got a mother that fucking, you know, staying with for 35 years old. I have no idea. This is sad, bro. <laughs> so there's my narrative a little bit. You've got no idea, man. You've got no idea. Now that Michael has confessed, he stops moving his body and he appears calmer. His voice also levels out as he puts his body into a more comfortable position. Sorry, you, you, I'm not making a lot of this stuff up. I mean, no, it's no, just, no. Yeah, it's just really I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time, like, you know. So then when you went back to the van and moved it to the hood? Yeah, yeah, because I was trying to get, so I mean, I mean obviously somebody you been looking for it, look right next to the office, it'd be pretty easy pretty close. Yeah. What about her uh, cell phone? Um, it was, I think, in the car or... or Did you trade for some... No, no, I did not trade that. I don't pawn stuff like that. I earned my money. Okay. Not her cell phone was an Android anyway, with more shit. <laughs> and plus, I've never been to a pawn shop really in my life, maybe one time down in West Virginia. And that was when I was like 22, 23, so that's the reason. So, where do we go from here? Well, I mean, you know you're going to get arrested. You get a ring, you get a bond, you get an attorney. Yeah, I actually couldn't use an attorney. Mark Bowie was my attorney for the TPO thing, maybe he'll represent me. Well, the only certain attorneys can represent oh, yeah, in cases of this country. So, I mean, in the long run, you could sit there and say, hey, I mean, I, I came off the bullshit story, and you can look at the judge and ask for some, you could ask the family person for doing this, and the, oh, the, the judge to give you a little bit of mercy. And yeah, I just, I mean, I'll spend the rest of my life in prison. I don't want to die because I can't do good works. I have been a good person my whole life. I just, I snapped because people have been riding my ass. Well, you were, you were talking to her. What did she say that reminded you of your girlfriend? She we were kind of talking about her a little bit, and she said that maybe, maybe you did this to her, or whatever. 
So she was blaming you? Yeah, I never did a fucking thing to that ex girlfriend of mine. I treated her like a fucking queen. So you said you just saw something laying there? Mm-hmm. Alright. Is there anything else you can think of? Um, that you want to know? I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Do you have any other questions uh, that you can ask me that, that I can think of? I think uh, we're pretty much. Like you got your confession. I got a confession, didn't you? Well. <laughs> Too close for comfort, bro. Yeah, like I told you, man, I think we knew enough. It's just up to you for your narrative. Well, I just, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have never done it. I just, for some reason, I snapped. And, uh, well, like Why is he talking and apologizing like a kid in trouble with his dad? Do you look like a cold-blooded killer? I'm not. A cold, I'm, I'm not. I mean, this is one stupid thing that I'll never be able to live down, but... Okay. Alright, I'm like, is that my hand? So I'll shake your hand. No, yeah. I don't, yeah, think, I don't think you want that. So. No, I'm not shaking your feet, man. Alright, before we get into the town, we'll try to get you sick, man. Yeah, I will. All right. that. Thank you. Shake my hand. Why would he shake your hand even if there wasn't dick on it? Ah! Strangely enough, he continued to claim that he was innocent of the charges brought against him. Bruh. Prosecution would have more than enough evidence to get a conviction, <laughs> and Michael would be sentenced to life in prison for his crimes. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> look, at, look, at this, look at this lawyer. I don't know if you guys... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but strangely enough, he continued to claim that he was innocent of the charges brought against him. Prosecution would have more than enough evidence to get a conviction, and Michael would be sentenced to life in prison <sighs> Man, for his crimes. Man, I can't crimes. believe it. What is going on yeah, yeah, yeah. here? Stops. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Freeze. He's in, you're going to jail. Uh, oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. But I'm saying he's going to unhandcuff you, but I need my Oh, that's why. Look at this. No another bald cop. Another guy definitely going bald. What is no, no, happening in this police okay, department? So that's why I keep it up here, just for this instance. I, I appreciate it, Because yeah. I know it's, it's a miserable building, man. It's either oh, freezing that cold or freezing that hot. Oh, so you can do the pants on. Oh, he had one on. on. I mean, I could put my shorts back on when I have a belt, and then they, you know, they took my belt. So right. We're just... Right. No, 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 he can have his pants. Yeah. He can carry them. Yeah, I actually make sense to go like this. Oh, no, you need them. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I guess. I'm on over there. Alright. Over there, sir. He's got a new stand. He's putting them on over his pants. They're up. Let me stretch. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking. Okay. I'm gonna put him. That's what we do. You done? Yes. I'm gonna move him if we can. What a genius. So you want the old. Big check. Fit check, dude. God damn, look at him. Wow, he's killing it. Yes, sir. Lock these in place. Wow. Looking good. Yeah. I would love to hear your thoughts on this case, so please share them in the comments below. I think I shared my thoughts plenty. This guy's a fucking idiot. What more is there to say? Hmm. Does his tattoo say numerous women? No way. Numerous. Numerous. E-A. A-S is the end and the and E-A is the second and third. I can't tell what the letter in between those and the first one is. It's in Latin. Oh, I can. Yeah. Veritas. Right? Veritas is truth or reality. The, the font is awful. Oh. A equitas. It just popped up when I put in when I typed that in. A equitas veritas. Oh wow. Oh wow. His tattoo means truth and justice. <laughs> There's just some things you cannot make up in this world, huh?